What's going on guys? Waco and Constant Kwong from Grail Watch. And we are so delighted to launch Grail Watch number nine with you. Yeah. Uh, so Grail Watch was created to celebrate collaborations and what a collaboration we have. It is a collaboration between Morris Grossman and the Finnish watchmaking rock star Kari Butelainen who has created the dial for this watch. And what a watch it is, dude. I amazing, love it. Amazing, amazing, amazing watch. I mean, you know, the, the two stars align, right? The German rising star and the Finnish watch legend come together and create this masterpiece. It's absolutely phenomenal. So guys, what we have here is a Bennu 37 with a sterling silver dial made by Kari Butelainen's company, Comblemine, which is Kiyoshi Amin with applied uh, Breguet indexes, which is absolutely majestic to behold. It's complemented by these beautiful purple or violet brown Violet hands, brown, yes. Right? Yep. Uh, it's got a white gold case, and on the back, it's got an untreated German silver movement with some of the most beautiful finishing in the uh, watch industry today. You've got the glass shoot stripes. You've got this beautiful snailing on the ratchet wheel. You've got a hand engraved balance cock and a hand engraved escape wheel cock. And I'm telling you, the summation of this watch as one perfect entity is so mind-blowingly awesome. There's like a Jamaican saying, <laughs> when you see something like very attractive, you say, me undies go tight. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, <laughs> wow. and when I look at this watch, me undies want to explode. But let's talk a little <laughs> bit about uh, Morris Grossman. So, like for me, when I fall in love with a watch brand, I like to fall in love with the human story behind yep. it. And Morris Grossman has one of the most compelling stories around, right? So, uh, if you think about it, right after the Berlin Wall falls in 1989, yep. uh, you have the reunification of Germany, and some of the most interesting things happen in a small town two hours outside of Germany called Glashütte, yep. which is the hotbed of Saxon watch making, right? A lot of uh, Western entrepreneurs come in there to restart the legend of Saxon watchmaking. Yep. In 1996, a young German watchmaker named Christine Hooter moves to Glashütte. So Christine Hooter, who was the founder of uh, the modern group Morris Grossman mm. brand, she was trained as a watchmaker. She worked in sales and marketing and watches, but she moves to Glashütte because what she tells us that's where all the energy and excitement in Germany was happening for the watch industry. She got four more, right? <laughs> <laughs> She no, had so much FOMO <laughs> that she had to go there and make it happen, right? And become part of it. And wow. she worked in uh, many different companies, including Lang and Sohn. Oh. But eventually she came across one name that kept reoccurring, right? And that name was Morris Grossman. Mm. And Morris Grossman is probably the most legendary name in that region for one simple reason. He was a very successful watchmaker, but in 1878, he creates the German watchmaking school. Wow. Right? And he kind of formalizes a lot of the things that we think about when we say German watchmaking. Mm. So he formalized, for example, the three quarter plate, the use of untreated German silver, the use of uh, Glashütte stripes, you know, which is the German version. Oh, of, wow, of that's G amazing. That Morris Grossman does have a big contribution to all these German watchmaking Huge. things that we see today. Huge, exactly. They formalized the use of the engraved balance cock wow. and this beautiful swan neck cool. regulator and the separate cock that's also used for the escape wheel as well. Cool. What was really cool is that so the building that was used for the school still exists today. It's now the German Watch Museum. Wow, it's amazing. Right. So uh, amazingly, Christine Huter finds out that, hey, the name Morris Grossman is actually available. <laughs> <laughs> so she incorporates it with the objective to bring her contribution to elevating German watchmaking to the modern world, right? Wow, that's amazing. But yeah. she's a young entrepreneur, uh, so she starts the company in 2008, on November 11th of 2008, and she starts basically with a P.O. box, and she's sitting at her kitchen table working, and she can afford to hire one watchmaker, which helps her create her first in-house caliber. Wow. And in, because all of the watches feature only in-house calibers. Mm -hmm. And in 2010, they launched their first watch, and it's called the Bennu, and that is because that is the name of an Egyptian deity that's like a female that rises from its ashes, that's reborn. Wow, and that's bringing Maurice Grossman back from the dead. Exactly, Amazing. right? So yeah. super fitting. And you know, she is uh, one of these incredible innovators in terms of mechanical watchmaking in inventiveness, right? Mm. So they created a watch called the Hematic, which yep. uses an automatic winding system similar to what Breguet was using for his perpetual, mm. right? She would create an incredible stop second tourbillon where you're using a brush made of human hair to stop the balance wheel because when a pillar of the tourbillon cage gets in the way, the brush splits and still is able to contact the it's balance wheel. It's insane though. <laughs> right. But the moment I fell in love with Morris Grossman was when in 2018 they launched mm. the Bennu 37mm watch, right? Yeah. Which is funny because in the context of 2018 was a bit on the small side, but today... It's the perfect size, right? Dude. Yeah. It was perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 37 mm today is it's the perfect, the perfect size. Perfect size. Yeah. It's so amazing, yeah. right? 37 mm and incidentally 9.2 mm in terms of thickness, yes. which is, I can't think of more perfect dimensions for a watch. It is really, really amazing. I mean, this is the perfect proportion that I would wear. Yes. No, I love, I mean, I'm wearing a 36 mm, but yes. man, 
this is it's phenomenal. It's just another level, yeah. So I remember we, you know, loved the watch so much that eventually we ended up making a collaboration on the mm. watch. So what I wanted to do was showcase like a kind of zen simplicity, right? So we made it a watch that was as minimalist as possible. We created a gold flow enamel dial. Even the name Morris Grossman is relegated just to the perimeter of the dial, wow. so you almost don't see it. And that watch did super well for us. In fact, I, I met a collector in New York that was wearing the watch. And I was staring at <laughs> him like, oh my God, that watch is so dope. I wish yeah. I bought one. Oh. Right? So now we had an opportunity to create a second watch, and we wanted to create something that was a collaboration between Christine and Cardi Boutelainen, who's mm. a dear friend of mine, uh, who's an amazing guy, who's contributed so much to the watch industry, yep. and even through his dial manufacturing workshop yes. online. Right? So he has become kind of the modern master of Guillaume Chiamin, and we wanted to use one of his uh, dials. Um, and so what he's done is he's made this beautiful sterling silver Kyosha man dial. And I have to say, when you look at it under this loop, which is amusing in a long and long loop, <laughs> I don't know how this ended up here. <laughs> thank, thank you, Langa. <laughs> Like if I look at the refinement of the guilloche, oh, of man. the wonderful sunray pattern, uh, wave pattern in the center, to the losange that underlies the Breguet indexes that are applied, to the beautiful um, through the Paris pattern in the sub-seconds dial, the execution of this is perfect. Like I, it's so perfect. We I almost want to invite Horo Mario Bro to like <laughs> yeah. take a macro shot of this and like and, and show us what's up. Um, Might be a challenge for him to find a flaw though. Dude, I, <laughs> But you know, like uh, I mean, I have to say, like uh, it, it's such an honor to be able to collaborate with these two individuals, and the watch that they created for us is just so stunning. At the same time, there's kind of a monochrome look from here. Right? Yep. But as the watch ages, yes. the color of the base plate will become a very yes. beautiful mellow goldish color, which is the nature of untreated yep. diamond silver. And I like the idea that it starts all in one color, and then it kind of goes in its separate directions as the watch ages. So why did we choose a sterling silver dial? Because remember, we had this conversation. We wanted to give the nickname of the watch Silver Bullet. Yeah. And why Silver Bullet? Not to kill werewolves, you know, and not <laughs> because we love guns, but because the word Silver Bullet in popular vernacular means a simple yet seemingly magical solution to a complex problem, right? And that makes me think of what Morris Grootsman's like a credo was, which was to create simple but mechanically perfect watches, which this thing is it, in such a like huge way. Amazingly fitting name though, okay. <laughs> that's really, really cool. So we started off with this beautiful purple or violet uh, kudu strap and I wanted to show you, because initially when I saw pictures of it, I'm like, did we go, go crazy? Was a purple strap <laughs> really a good idea? Oh, he didn't like it, man. I mean, <laughs> but, but well, now in the flesh. In the flesh, it's phenomenal, right? It's so dope. Um, and I love the life it brings to the watch. Uh, the way it perfectly complements the handmade hour and minute hands, which you were telling me are yeah. amongst the thinnest hands in the world. It's the, among the thinnest hands in the world, yeah. Right, and beautifully hand bent as well to fit exactly the curvature of the dial. But in case you're not a huge purple fan, we have also decided to do you a solid. And through our friend Ken, who is the creator of Delugs here in Singapore and the maker of some of the finest straps that we can think yeah. of, we're going to be offering you Free, yeah. free of charge, mother <laughs> free of charge. <laughs> this insanely dope Himalayan crocodile strap, albino yeah. Himalayan crocodile. Albino Himalayan right. crocodile strap. It's, uh, it looks monochromatic, but you no, know, with the, all the textures from the dial, you know, from the case, and of course with, the, with this um, Himalayan alligator strap. Thanks, Ken. Okay, it, it, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful, like a beautiful monochromatic art piece. You know, it's, it's, it's really nice with all the textures, all the details and everything. It's just, it blows my mind. This watch is so dope. Yeah. And then just as an added, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> treat for you, we've also, through our friend Ken at Deluxe, <laughs> uh, decided to give you a white rubber uh, cut to size strap as well, should you decide that you want to wear this watch <laughs> with your white Speedo um, at the beach this summer. Right. <laughs> I do not recommend Sylvester's it. Sylvester's laughing. No. He's like, dude, I, because he, he's like, hey, are you down with the white Speedo look? Yeah, exactly. The silver Porsche design sunglasses, the white Speedo, and this watch on your wrist, and you're the master of your, I'm trying to think of like, there's a German Speedo brand. Um, there must oh, be one, man. guys. If you're yeah, watching, there must this be video, one. Uh, there must and if be you can one, think yeah. of one, just put it in the comments below, and then maybe we'll buy them and, and give them as complimentary <laughs> gifts to the six owners of this watch. And that's what I should mention to you. And I should apologize. I'm so sorry, guys, that we only were able to make six, six of these. Six of these, yeah. So yeah. that's it. There's only six watches. He's thinking about buying one too, and so am I. So maybe it'll just be oh, four. Man. But in the end of the day, um, again. Thank you so much for um, you know tuning in. Thank you, Christine Hooter and Kari Butelen for this amazing collaboration. Everyone in the office wants to buy this watch. It's so <laughs> yeah. dope. Uh, it's, it's a tough job, man. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Uh, you see beautiful watches every like two weeks. That's crazy. Uh, it is indeed. <laughs> and what a watch it is. Uh,
Morris Grossman times Kari Vutalainen, Silver Bullet, Bennu 37. This watch just absolutely rocks. Congratulations, Wei. Thank you, sir. Beautiful, beautiful watch. And thanks, guys, for tuning in. Cheers. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun.